my teacher and principal, guests and visitors, and my fellow students. We have gathered here today to present exhibits of academic achievements into the wonderful world of science fair, school-wide competitions, and classroom competitions. Since 2011, Yeshiva Principal Association has initiated special programs focused on science, history, and geography. This past year, more than 75 educators and principals gathered together to work on curriculum development. Once a year, hundreds of students from these yeshivas gather together from all over New York to participate in the annual Yeshiva Education Expo. From the first day of school, children are already asking, what are we doing this year? Although they know it's months away, but they want to start working on it, so they know that when the class will reach certain benchmarks in math, in history and social studies, in reading and writing, that's when they're going to start working on different projects. So that alone is a motivation for the class, for the children, for the students, and for the teachers too. If we do want to prepare students for success outside of the classroom, it is important for them to have these academic skills. From what I know about the Talmudic learning that, that happens in yeshivas, that debate and discourse and making arguments and supporting them with textual evidence, there is a synchronicity with that mindset towards learning and the way that we're really trying to get schools to move nowadays. There is intense value placed on Torah learning, and I believe this translates into a reverence for scholarship as a whole. How many weeks did it take for you to put this together and to study the subject? Studying, I always do it, and but to put this together took about three weeks. The rabbis teach you many times in what's called the Socratic method. So therefore, when the children have a chance on their own to do these things, these spheres, that's when you do get a chance to see what they've really been learning in the classroom has been internalized, and here are the results. So it pushes away, it repels. In order to create and carry out a science project, students will need to plan ahead. Think about what is this final outcome that may come. So that's a social emotional skill in itself, being able to think ahead, make a plan, and break something down into its component parts. Uh, making a presentation also involves these types of interpersonal skills. It's an Australian animal. They're fluffy and like, have a lot of fur. They're gray. What did you make? A project about a deer because my name is Hashi Shechter. We gave the children options of what they want to do. They know what they're capable of. Many kids were telling me, I'm not sure I can do this, but let me try. Many kids would come over and ask, can I be partnered with so-and-so? Because I think the two of us together can do this. They challenge themselves. They challenge each other. They love to talk about these things and they're really excited about mathematical ideas and concepts. There's an excitement for life in the yeshivas that's palpable and it's great to be part of that, to be in the building and kind of feel that warmth and enthusiasm. Cycle of water is a simple but, but a very interesting cycle. It's an on happening cycle since the world was created. The sun gives off its heat into the oceans Water. And all the water is trying to come out. Something rubs against each other and makes an electric current. 